we're all back in here as all well. Right. Yeah. So then what I do is like when I post this later, I'll overlay this really nice audio with the video from that over there. But we are Amazing. here in the lightning round. Uh, we're going to do it. Let's just go right into it. So what I'm thinking, again, because I haven't had to do one of these with uh, two people in a while. So right. we'll go Doug Carl, then right. Carl Doug on the questions. So right. that's both of you have to do. Okay. So starting with, oh, this is going to sound like a silly one, but this is, let's take this out of Kitzalt for a sec so we can right. dive into the two of you as individuals. Okay, Great. cool. So uh, what is one accomplishment you would like to achieve in the next year? That I would like to achieve in the next year? Yeah. Oh, I would, I would love to go bungee jumping in New Zealand. All right. That's specific. Specific. Yeah, for yeah. sure. In, in Queenstown. In Queenstown, okay. New Zealand, because that is where bungee jumping was like invented, yeah. or at least that's what I've been told. And, um, and I know New Zealand is like the capital of like, um, uh, I really like extreme sports yeah. and I've been skydiving, but I have never been bungee jumping and that is on the to-do list. So hopefully within the next year, if not within the next two years. Look at you coming in for the win right away with the lightning, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, right? top that no, <laughs> no, Carl, how about you? Oh, same question. Oh, it's, yeah. So we'll go this way and then we're going to bring it back the other way. I would have been thinking of the answer. That's so funny. Um, well, now, now I don't, well, bungee I actually jumping. went bungee jumping. I actually want to go back. I want to come. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, I want to climb up the glacier in Iceland, actually. Oh, there you that go. is on my list. Okay. You get this. That's amazing. Okay, cool. So now this will be Carl first. Uh, what's one item you would like to have an unlimited supply of? <laughs> <laughs> Extra strength Tylenol. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Great. I'm yeah. into it. Yeah, like yeah. That, that's it for me. Yeah. Lindor chocolates. Lindor. <laughs> oh, yeah. all right. We like, like, come on. How about like, super nibs? Like lint, lint, lint chocolates. Like, those, like those the, balls? The, the balls one. Yeah. yeah. Do you like all the different flavors? Or I just... love them all. Okay. Like, uh, maybe not so much the dark chocolate ones, but I love like any combination of the, the milk chocolate. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. We're going to go back this way again. Awesome. Whenever I go away on contract or whenever I'm traveling, I have this one red, red plaid shirt that I always bring everywhere. Uh, it, it, when you go away somewhere, when you're packing, what's the first thing you throw in your suitcase? Like my passport. Oh, how dare you! Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you just never know. Yeah. And like, I'm in a long distance relationship, so I just don't know yeah. if I'm like if I'm gonna be flying from wherever I am to uh, to, to wherever you're going to wherever oh. to wherever she is. So that's you a know, good point. So, uh, yeah. So even um, even coming from Montreal to here for this workshop, I was like passport right away, just in case. Yeah, yeah. that's smart. Okay, how because you again talking about hopping on a plane and going places. What what were what was the first thing you always packed when you're going to meet those kids? All I need my moisturizer. Yes, that's a good <laughs> answer as well. <laughs> when I was on cruise ships, I could never get my moisturizer anywhere in the world. So I used to, you know, when I was back on contract, right? Just get like a giant twenty five bottles of them. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Uh, cool. So, what is one movie you think needs to be turned into a musical slash play? Titanic, but like a new version of. And the new version of it. Cool, cool. <laughs> Not the original. Yeah. How about you? Snakes on a plane. <laughs> oh, I'd see snakes on a plane. The musical, one hundred percent. That's right. a good one. Um, cool. So, after time away from work, what is the first thing you? Or t- time away for work. What is the first thing you like to do when you get home? Time away for work. Like if you're like for example, when you get home to Montreal. I yeah, mean, this is yeah. a bit of an interesting experience because it's it's so unique and crazy. But like when you go away somewhere and you mm-hmm. get back, what's the first thing you like to do when you get home? Like that's not work. That's not work. What? Yeah, do you dive right back into the work? I I, I just think you're you're I, I I think what you're saying is that there's time when I'm not working. Good point. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, is that the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had some downtime, yeah, what right. would it be? Um, you know what I um. Uh, I, I love, uh, wasting time on YouTube. Um, oh, yeah, you know, just going and, down the rabbit holes. and actually for, for me, I'm, I'm into kind of like, like I'm really into watching British snooker on, on YouTube. I know, I know. And if there's any, if any of your listeners are British snooker fans, they'll know the name Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's like the, he's like kind of the Wayne Gretzky of, of oh, the snooker, snooker world. And he is like phenomenal. You always surprise me. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. I, I love watching it, and and I'm not even really like a billiards player, yeah. but I, I I absolutely love it. Cool, and Carl, very specific. Yes, I I like to rip off my clothes <laughs> into the bathtub for an hour, yeah, just nonstop, and then put on a nice white robe. I love that. That is that. take some you time. <laughs> exactly. I'm into it. Yeah. Very very cool. Uh, what is um, okay? If you could pick, so kind of similar to the other question, if you could pick one band or artist to make a musical out of their music. Who would it be? Lady Gaga. Oh yeah, that's coming. It's got to be. Or Sia, yeah. actually. Oh cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, either of those, I think, is just yeah. We're ready for that. 
Yeah. Um, I would have to say either Smash Mouth or... Um, Are you saying that you know the back catalog of Smash Mouth tunes <laughs> other than, hey, now you're a rock star? Obviously. Obviously. Okay. I'm a massive Smash Mouth fan. <laughs> I love Smash Mouth. Um, yeah. So I think I would have to go with them. Cool. I'd see Smash Mouth the musical. Right? Um, cool. Like All Star is like the I Want song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, cool. So this is going to be a tough one, so I will go quick with it. It'll be kind of rapid fire. We're at you, right? Doug? Yep. Yeah, okay. What is the first movie quote that comes to your head? One, two, three, go. Uh, um, uh, Jack, I'm, I'm, I'm flying Jack. One, two, oh. three, go. <laughs> Did I steal yours? I'll never let go. Because <laughs> you said Jack. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, that works. They could have both fit on the wood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they could have both fit on the wood. That's so funny. Uh, cool. Now, so this is kind of to go back to your performer lives, to think about that mm. for a sec. What is one show, uh, that you love? but you don't think you would ever want to be a part in. Like, I, for example, it's a show that you like to admire from afar. I love the show Cats. I think it's wonderful, but I'm probably not going to be in Cats. What's a show that you love but would never want to be in? Phantom. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Um, for me, I think it would probably be uh, Wicked, actually. Yeah. yeah. And I think I think it would be Wicked because I love the music so much that I don't think I would want to be totally immersed in it like I je- I love I love it too much to kind of um work on it yeah. if that makes sense totally so yeah and I think I think if I really dived into it I and really exposed myself to it I I don't know if I would keep that just joy of it because it would become work for me Definitely. and uh but right now it's a uh, you know listening to Wicked is a um uh you know it's 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 it it it's a, brings me a lot of joy. Totally. That's, that's why he declined the offering. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I declined the offering. <laughs> they wanted to go to Broadway. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, Stephen Schwartz. <laughs> oh, cool. So, uh, what is the last series, album, or podcast that you binged? Freakonomics. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Riverdale. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> amazing. The musical episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then this is kind of, I like this one because it'll actually, let's say, just for people, go back and listen to the rest of the podcast to hear about this, but the fact that you guys worked on a show together as a creative team as well mm-hmm. uh, before this, if you guys, and I'm going to ask this together with the both of you, could put on one show. Obviously, this is after Kitsalt has been a smash hit, and that one has its many productions everywhere. From your um, lips. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what is one show that the two of you would love to put on with an unlimited budget? Unlimited, that you can put it on anywhere, at any time, with any amount of budget. A show that the two of you kind of think would be fun to do. Wow. And it can be different answers. Wow. Unlimited budget. You could just, yeah, go. they give giving you the golden ticket to do a show. Go on. Wow. I, I don't know if we've ever considered it like that because budget is all has always it's always been a thing. thing. It's always, yeah, exactly. thing. It's always yeah. a thing. Do you have a dream show you would love to music direct slash? Do you have a dream show you would love to direct? You know what? I would love to musically direct "You're in Town." Yeah, because I I just like I I just love it and um and I'm a huge fan of Kurt Vile as well. And "You're in Town" is written in a Kurt Vile style. Um, so yeah, so I, you know, and, and it's, I just love it. I love it. It's like comic book esque element to it. So, um, I actually would love to do, I guess the budget doesn't, doesn't matter in this case, but title of show. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. Like title of show, if you could do, cause usually you think of title of show and you think small, small scale, but you know, if you have unlimited budget, I wonder how that would translate to like doing all kinds of great stuff with it. Very cool. Well, those are both shows I would say. That's great. And w- just like that, the two of you com- have completed the lightning round. That was right. amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm just gonna, Thanks for watching. Yeah. I'm just going to turn that off and then I'll, uh, we'll finish it up with just one more awesome. question.